In 2010, a woman was having the time of her life swimming in the azure waters off the coast of Sardinia. Suddenly, she felt something against her leg, and it stung badly, so she immediately made her way back to the shore. A witness to the event later told the media that when she emerged from the water, she was limping and screaming. The lifeguard on the beach took one look at her leg and told her she'd been stung by the ocean's least loved inhabitant, the Portuguese man of war. We won't tell you just yet about what happened to the woman, but instead we'll tell you something about this floating ship of pain. First of all, you're probably wondering how it got such a strange name. You can say Man of War, but some people like to call it the Portuguese Man O War. It makes no difference. The name comes from an 18th century sailing warship, which when at full sail looked like a jellyfish. We say jellyfish, but that's not exactly true. These things are actually something called siphonophores, which are multiple organisms living together to form a whole. Jellyfish are one single animal. So when you think about the man of war, imagine a lot of living things joined together to make one thing. What's really cool about this colony is that one of the organisms can't survive on its own, so they all just get together to form a veritable killing machine. They communicate with each other and go out and catch food, as well as sting swimmers of the human form. These things don't actually have the ability to move about at will and are instead pushed around by the water and wind. That bag you see that looks like a sail is filled with gas. And what's so cool about this is when it's attacked, it can actually deflate its gaseous sail and the colonies can submerge under the water. Trailing behind it are its tentacles. These can stretch to as long as 33 feet, but they've been known to have tentacles that are almost 100 feet. It uses these tentacles for fishing, like a trawler, and it's very efficient. The problem for you and me is those long tentacles are filled with venom. That venom can paralyze and kill its prey, and for us, it can produce a very nasty sting. It happens a lot, too. With Australia reporting about 10,000 man o' war stings every summer, suffice to say, for beach loving Aussies, the man o' war is literally a right pain in the behind. These tentacles are really hard to see because they're translucent. And worse still, even after they've detached from the body, they can still sting. We at the Infographics have experienced this firsthand, and we can tell you that the pain was pretty bad. Not only that, when you get out of the water, you look like someone has whipped you. Quite often people are stung on the beach itself because these man o' war get washed up. They're not always easy to see being a translucent hue of blue, and so many people get stung in the foot. Kids have been known to pick them up and put them in their mouth, which is dangerous because then your throat can swell. We suggest you don't do that. The pain should go down within a couple of hours, but those bright red welts will hang around for a while, maybe one to three days. Now we're guessing you've all heard the story of someone being stung and then racing back to the beach, whereupon the victim entreats his buddies to urinate upon him. That guy read somewhere on the internet that this stops the pain. We should tell you that you don't need to go through this humbling experience because pee will do absolutely nothing to reduce the pain. A golden shower is certainly not the requisite first aid procedure, so don't go there. The Smithsonian writes that it'll actually do more harm than good. That magazine wrote, it turns out that rinsing the sting with vinegar then immersing the area in water 113 degrees Fahrenheit or hotter for 45 minutes will deactivate and rinse away the nidi, as well as deactivate the venom already injected. The nidi are the cells that do the damage and kill fish. They're single use, meaning after the sting, they're finished. Some sources do say put warm salt water on the wound, but newer research suggests you shouldn't do that. Definitely don't put fresh water on the welts, that will cause more pain. Quite a lot of people get stung in the USA, with 204 cases reported in one part of Florida in 2018. While most of the time this will result in a person getting out of the water and shouting a cocktail of expletives, some folks will suffer a bit more. They might experience a racing heart or even throw up. The good news is that if you die, you are one in a million. But it can happen. One unlucky guy got stung in Florida in 1987 and he died from cardiovascular collapse. Portuguese men of war have a hard life too though, because some sea turtles and some fish like to eat them. One of its worst enemies is the blue dragon sea slug. These things not only eat the man of war, but they steal its toxins to use for themselves on their own prey. The real horror that humans might face would of course be getting stung by a lot of these things at once. That would be like numerous whips striking your body at the same time. 
In fact, sometimes men of war get together in what are referred to as legions, and there might be a thousand of them all huddled together. Swim through that, and you better start praying. When the wind blows, you might find these legions at a beach near you, but usually there should be a warning sign. We don't want to worry you too much, because the man of war stings thousands and thousands of people each year and deaths seldom happen. If you want some advice regarding how not to get stung though, we'll give you some. 1. If it looks dead, don't touch it, it can still sting. 2. Look out for warning flags, and if the lifeguard says don't go in the water, then you should listen to him. 3. If you do get stung and you start to have a bad reaction, don't think its sting is like the sting of a bee. Scientists tell us that a shot of epinephrine won't make the reaction go down and could even be very dangerous. If you can't breathe or feel dizzy, you need to seek medical attention right away. The National Institutes of Health conducted studies, and while it said more studies need to be done, the hot water and vinegar approach is sound. In severe reactions, some antihistamines and a hypertension drug called reserpin have saved the day. In one case, a person suffered cardiorespiratory arrest after a sting, and an antihistamine reversed it. As for the woman we introduced at the start of the show, well, she got very unlucky because the sting from the jellyfish sent her into shock. No sooner than she got out of the water and approached the lifeguard, she collapsed to the ground. She didn't make it, unfortunately. This was the only recorded case of a jellyfish fatality in that area, and the good news is that hundreds of people have reported being stung around Sardinia just that year. Have you been stung by one of these? How did that go down? Tell us in the comments. Also, be sure to check out our other video, What If a Whale Accidentally Swallowed You? Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.